Okay, we've got these uh, two, three-year-old geldings here. I'll probably work with this bigger fella here, the brown fella. I don't know if, he's, if we can catch him or not, but we'll see how we go. We've had a little bit of handling. So, rather than make an issue, I'll get me catch and pole. I don't know what handling he's had, but not a lot to look at. So, people think when you get a rope on a horse that you're going to teach him to lead or you're going to pull him here or you're going to pull him there, but that's not what, what we're going to do. We're going to use this rope to teach him to stand. So, he, so I want him to stand with his head towards me. He's a little bit worried. The first thing we've got to do is overcome come his fear and get him relaxed. So we've got to try and make... You already got the idea here. So instead of making any horse come to me, I'm going to go to him, always go to him and show him it's nice and easy and pleasant to be with me. And I do that by, by giving him a rub. So all I want to do is show him that when his head's with me, life's, life's pretty good. So I just rub him around. So instead of chasing him around and around the yard or, or putting pressure on him, it doesn't matter what the horse is, I'm going to go to him first and show him the answer. The answer for the horse is always to keep his head with me. It's always nice and easy and pleasant for him to have his head with me. And there's going to be a lot of reasons for that as we go along. The first and probably the main one is that he'll learn to relax, he'll learn to be confident with me. He'll, he'll, he'll get to the stage where he wants to be with me. So I don't have to pull him around or chase him around. What I've got to do is go to him, overcome his little worries, overcome his fear and build his confidence. Everything we want to do is aimed at building his confidence. So he's a little bit, when I stand here, it's a little bit of pressure for him, he doesn't like it. So I don't let him relieve that pressure by moving. He relieves that pressure by standing. So when he stands, he gets rid of me. Pretty simple. And that's how, how the horse thinks. Horses think very, very simply. He thinks, how, how can I get rid of him? I don't want him there. I don't like that. How can I fix that so that he's not there? How can I make life easy for myself. At the moment he's happiest with me here. He thinks that's a safe spot to be. So we've got to, got to adjust that and show him. So already he stands when I'm here and he stands a bit long. So I'll wait a little bit longer this time before I move away. So I'm teaching him how to get rid of me when he's worried. I'm teaching him how, how to relieve some pressure. I'm teaching him how, how to get rid of pressure. Now pressure is just anything, a way of saying anything he doesn't like or anything he finds aversive. We're just calling that pressure. Now, now this here to me, what I'm doing here, 
rubbing his horse's head is probably the most important thing you can do. It's the most important training tool I've got. Just rubbing his head. Can't overdo it. You see he's starting to relax with it, he's dropping his head down. So don't keep push on and on and on asking for more each time. It, it's not about how much we can do this lesson. It's, it's just about keeping him relaxed, building his confidence. It's not a race. Nobody ever paid me any extra for what I could do in one lesson. I'm starting to get a little change of attitude, if you want to call it that. But more importantly, what's happened, we're starting to get his mind working. And this time he waits longer. And I go a little bit further with my hand. Again, he, when he gets a bit worried, he says, well, I'll try and get rid of him another way. But it didn't work. Not quite as quite as sure this way. 